What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yes, indeed. I done got it together. Here we go again. It's a hunch day Wednesday for the ladies who are watching on the replay. It's a hunch day Wednesday. Hunch day Wednesday. Hunch day, hunch day, hunch day Wednesday. Hunch day Wednesday. Hunch day Wednesday. Hold on. What's going on? Hold on. Hold on. What's going on? Oh, that's a big delay, and that's a big delay, and that's a big delay. Boy, y'all don't play. Come on, Facebook, let's do it, baby. Stop delaying me, baby. I've been saying all that. I'm looking on here. I'm still dancing on the phone. <laughs> it's like a, a power dimensional world, baby, because I'm watching it as it's real. Black. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, bam. So that's what we're doing this day, ladies and gentlemen. Who birthday it is? Oh, it's Frederica birthday. Hey, Frederica. Happy birthday, baby. From Boogie B and the Let Me Stress You Out Show Crew. Yeah, the Boogie B Hive, too. And them Boogie X and Boogie Bros, too. Yay. Happy birthday to you, Frederica. Frederica. Little Super Freak of Frederica. The Little Super Freak Ah, what's happening to me? It's my girl, Frederica birthday, y'all. I got to speak to y'all and sit, celebrate her birthday at the same time. Wonderful wonder what's happening. <laughs> yeah, wonderful wonder. Tell her birthday. It's Frederica birthday. She been here the whole time. Yeah. Now, welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Out Show. Out Show. Welcome. Hold up. Let me welcome y'all to the Let Me Stress You Out Show with my song theme music first. Then I'm going to come back to the birthday girl, Frederica. And y'all can continue with the happy birthdays to Frederica while I say this. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Welcome to the Let Me me stress you out, show out, show out, show out, show out, I got my show out, I got my what they welcome to the let me stress you out, show welcome to the let me stress you out, show welcome, Ashley, welcome to the let me stress you out, show welcome to the name, welcome to the let me stress you out, show what up, Rich Jimmy, welcome to the let me stress you out, show, ladies on the E, welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show, Joe Abuku, I'm Boogie V, and I'm the Rose King, let me stress you out post-quarantine, all y'all stocked up on your toilet paper, good, I'ma come to the New Orleans flavor, comedy soldier, Joe Rambo, putting green in my pack like my team Lambo, my team getting stacked and we're going ham, hey, bro, but I'ma stop rapping and tell a damn joke, welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Oh, sure, I got to do that part. Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. What up, Bonnie and Ellie? Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Now, show out. Come on, show out. Come on, show out. Come on, show out. Come on. Ooh, that motherfucker hit. That motherfucker hit. What's happening, baby? What's up, Sean? What's up, baby? Thank you for coming to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. What's happening, Ashley O'Brien from Chicago? What's happening, Shortel Brent from Texas? Shortel, your real name, Shortel, or is it Shantel? What? Shortel is your name, S H O R T E L. Shortel, what's happening, baby? Correct me if I'm saying it wrong. What's up, release? Or at least tech from Texas in the building. What's up, short tail? Short tail. What the hell kind of name is short tail? What's up, Kitty Kusamano? What's up, baby? My good old, one of my good old white big hats came on through one time to hold it down for the Let Me Stretch You Out show. I got a few of them. I got a few, you know what I'm saying? My percentage in this comments be the same like New Orleans. Mostly black. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. People be so ready to sing your white friends to the Let Me Stress You Out show. Let me, let me get them right. Tag your white partners. Tag the people who you think would not like to come here. Tag them. Them the ones I want. Shit. I know the black people don't like me. Shit, I'm black. 
I need to get some more white folks in the chat, baby. Come on, here. let me straighten them out. Let me get some more allies. Let me create some allies. Do y'all want them? If you want to make them an ally, you got to send them to the Let Me Stress You Out show now. Damn. What's up, Wendy's, baby? I love you too, baby. Thank you so much for coming. What's up? My nigga Raheem, they came through from Tampa, Florida with my people at. Y'all see what I'm saying? And my cousin Chase and, and, uh, and my cousin Terry in, New York, in, uh, they're in Tampa too now. Y'all fuck with my two cousins. My two light skinned cousins. You know, they're way down the line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Devil Rocks, what's happening, baby? What it do? I'm glad you came through. This is the Let Me Stress You Out show. The live is live on live. And that ain't no jive. This the live is live on live. What's happening, Renee Howard from New Orleans? You know New Orleans in the building. If I'm in the building. And Amy Ross in the building. Amy Ross, you better let them know we're holding it down for the end, though. Hey, it's people in these comments that's important. That's why I say them out loud. So the people watching the replay can be like, damn, so and so was there. So and so was there. New Orleans was in there. Denver, Colorado was representing with Boogie V. Okay, okay, he was talking to us. Yes, I was. You just wasn't here. You're watching the replay. You're here now. Come on with me. What's happening, Kenneth Lobo? Yeah, he said, dude, I'm, he said, dude, you funny as hell. I appreciate you too, brother. Real recognize real shit. About time somebody recognize. What's happening, Chris Sean? Yeah, my girl Coach Coach Sean from KC in the building. What's happening? Not Kansas City, Kansas City. For the people from New Orleans, you know. KC in New Orleans means something different. I'm sorry. In New Orleans, KC being Kansas City. It's my girl Frederica birthday though. So you wanna turn up? Who in here from New Orleans? Let's turn up one time. Let's let's throw a quick second line, a virtual second line. <laughs> let's do a virtual second line for my own girl Frederica. Is she in there? I ain't seen her in the comments yet. Yeah, let me look and see. Make sure she in here before I say anything else. What's up, Siobhan, baby? Siobhan Daniels came on through. Siobhan, remind me to give you a trophy, baby, Um, before we get up out of here. Hold on. Let me turn on this second line music right fast before I get my page took down. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to play a quick little second line. A quick little second line for my girl. She's been coming here for over two years. And I always celebrate my friend's birthday with a second line, and I don't care where you at. Hold on, baby. Oh, this is the one I want right here. Ooh, that's the one I want right there for your birthday, baby. Come on, Rebecca, baby. Yeah, it's Frederica's birthday today. Yeah, yeah. Y'all hear that? Oh, y'all hear that? Oh, it's a second line in Bigger D House, God damn it. Hey, it's a second line in the Let Me Stress You Out show. Happy birthday, Frederica. Here we go. Yay, 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 yay. Woo, I be cutting up on that second line. Y'all wish y'all could see my feet, boy. I'm here. I be hitting it. I'm still in shape. Hey, happy birthday, Frederica. You don't know how many you made you got coming. You better celebrate with that girl. Y'all act like y'all got endless birthdays or something. You better celebrate while you can, baby. Woo! That shit is random. Hold on. Look how you think I do when you say the line. This is how many face do when they say the line for real. <laughs> Every man that's been drinking, baby, I love you. Hold on. Before I get my page turned up. Hold on. Let me get back to my own music for they be that took my page down messing with Frederica damn birthday. Woo! That's second line, second line, second line for your mind, baby. Happy birthday to my own girl, Frederica. Been, been fucking with the Let Me Stress Y'all show for over two years, and I want two more. Let's go. Woo! Come on, let me hit my water now. You know I'm on my healthy shit. Hmm. 
Now, one thing you got to have when you go to New Orleans second line, you got to have your handkerchief, or you got to bring your white uh, hotel towel. <laughs> and you got to have you some water, baby, because you're about to second line your ass all around the city. What's happening, Joe Buku? Yeah, those are bouncy beats are on. Yeah, it's, it's called bounce music, Joe Buku from Nigeria. I'm sorry, brother, you may not have heard of it over there. But, you know, anyways, what's happening, Fatu? Then, and that. Thank you so much for coming to the Let Me Stress You Out show. Now, let me ask y'all this. Let me stress you out, show black trivia before we start up this old situation. So, friends of all, you better tell them, Sean. She better put a backpack on or something. I have somebody with a backpack walking with you. What's that, in Cedric? Governor, I'm glad you made it holding it down for the end so they know I ain't telling them no lies. What's that, in uh, Shawana Shanks, my LGBTQ community representative? Thank you so much for coming. Yay. Fatu, you in here, baby, with the green hair? Or what, what, you, what that is, green hair or green hat? Head on your head. Okay. Maria Davis, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, really? Uh, oh, really? I'm told. So thank you so much for coming, baby. I appreciate you. What's up, Andy Ross with the sauce? Holding it down. That's all we do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let me stress you out, show black trivia, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the game that I play every day, five days a week on the Let Me Stress You Out show. Where I ask y'all a question, whoever gets the answer right in the order that I call out. It's the one who wins the purse, and whoever has the most purse at the end of the week wins the prize. Every Friday, I give away something. I let y'all know who the winner is. What's up, Tampa now? Tampa, Florida, Hillborough County, Plain City, Brandon, Lakeland, all that around that area. I appreciate you coming. Yay. What's happening, Frederica? Frederica said in the comments, I posted my first name. Hold up. Oh, yeah. Hold up, I gotta see what Hold up, I gotta see what Frederica name was. <laughs> Frederica, I thought Frederica was your name. What the hell type of what type of nickname you going by? Is your name Frederica or not? What's up, Sean? Sean, what your name is, Sean? Sean sound like a regular name. Let me see. Frederica see. I'm going to keep my word. My first name is Murdis. Murdis. Ooh, Frederica. I know damn well, Frederica. We've been sitting up here calling you Frederica this whole time. Frederica Clemens, how you doing? Girl, your name is Murdis. You better cut it out. <laughs> M-Y-R-O-T-I-S is murderous, baby. You got the oldest name in here. It ain't been a murderous around time. I thought all the murders had been made up out of here. Oh, Petro, but the murders is, is, is one more left. There's one more, and it's a birthday. <laughs> Frederick. Frederick, happy birthday, murders. Well, you shouldn't have told the class clown your damn real name, murders. What's that, murders, baby? <laughs> sound like, you know, sound like uh, Murder Urkel is your sister. <laughs> you got a sister named Murder, Murder Urkel. Both y'all got some old last names. What's that, the granted, brother? Oh, you want to put the trophy in for it? Let's give her that senior citizen name of the day award. And that goes to the birthday girl, Murdis, a.k.a. Frederica Clark. Girl, you better stay. You just better take murders off your shit. Just tell them people, look, they messed up. They meant to say my wrist hurt, and they accidentally typed it. They ran it together and typed in murders. <laughs> Scratch that part out. <laughs> your name is Murders Frederica Clemens. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna use the angle they call your name on roll call in school. Murders. Your grandma name was Murder. I knew it. Oh, they passing them old names down like it ain't no thing. Don't pass the name down no more now. Frederica, you name your baby something more up to date, okay? You name your bunch of something more up to date. Don't pass that name down. What's happening, Tommy? Tom and Anthony Michaels, they came through my boogie boat and landed up in the place to be today. And you are about to get the Let Me Stress You Out show, Black Trivia. 
You owe me this. <laughs> Let me ask y'all this. Whoever put the answer incorrectly third today, whoever put the question, the answer to this question I'm about to ask, the third comment wins. The third comment to have it correctly in the chat wins. Hold on, Tarin. I'm about to give away a prize. I mean, I'm about to give away a prank. And at the end of the week, I'm going to give away a prize to whoever have the most first. I'm going to do a demonstration show. show. Trivia question, one per show. And then at the end of the week, I'm going to add all the shows up. Whoever got the most points correctly wins the prize. The third answer correct wins, ladies and gentlemen. This is the question. What was the name? Now, all y'all black in here, you supposed to notice. What was the name of Silly and Mary's song in the movie Color Purple? <laughs> if you ain't seen Color Purple, something wrong with you. You, you, it's, you, you, lack, you got a gap in your education, baby. You better go see Color Purple. What was the name of the song that Silly and Mary sang in Color Purple together? They sang some song when they were doing it in the movie. Made it in another part. It got that. 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 It got got It 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 got Linda Williams says, you and I must never part. No, you know damn well that ain't it. That's Smokey Robinson. I don't know who the hell sang that song. <laughs> you and I must never part. You and I must think up that. Red is the say wop. Now, you know damn well ain't no wop. Was it no color purple? Every creature was dry and color purple. The whole city was dry. What's happening in the world, Davis? Whoopi Goldberg, what the hell? I said, what was the name of the song that Silly and Nettie sang in the color purple? You see, y'all don't be knowing y'all trivia like that. Y'all don't know y'all black shit like I do. Me and you shall never fall. I eat our guys. Hey, you remember that shit? Me and you shall never fall. I eat What it was? Yeah, who know it? Let me see. Somebody said the name of the song was You and I Will Never Part. A uh, passionate leaper that is not correct, baby. Sister, remember your name? No, that ain't it either. Poor Sean, that's, that's not even close to it. Nelly and Lily of the Field. No, there wasn't no Nelly and Lily of the Field. Tanya, you in the comments? Let me see. Tanya said... Makita, Makita Dada. Oh, Latoya said it's M A K I D A D A. Makita Dada. That's what they were saying right there. Now let me see who said it third. No, that's the first one. Shit. Bonnie Miller said it's Makita. Makita. <laughs> <laughs> Sean said it was you and I would never part. That ain't right. The answer is Maki Dada. Let me see who put it in third. Because um, Bonnie Miller smelt it wrong. Let me see. Amy Ross with the sauce added first, but that was spelled it wrong too. She put M A C H I. D A D D D A D A H. That's not right. The word is actually when I check the statistics, I always want to notice too. Who and I should never call my key da da. Me and you should never call. The name of the song was Maki da da, ladies and gentlemen. Just in case y'all didn't know, Bonnie Miller put it was my key da da. It ain't my key. Tata. So the winner who got it in third was none other than my good, let me see. Let me see, Lavetta got it. Uh, okay. And then after Lavetta, I see Sean. I 
think I see. Yeah, I see Sean before Joe. Yeah, I see Sean Douglas say you. Oh, you you say you and I will never pat. And then you put Maki Dada. But let me see. Did you say it just by itself before that? Let me check. Oh yeah, he did say it before that. So Sean and did get it right after. <laughs> After, of course, after T Toya Moody, she got it on YouTube, and let me see, and then, let me go back up, let me go back up, hold on, y'all, let me see who won this year, so, so the first answer person who knew it was Amy Rose, but she couldn't spell it, so that one don't count. And then Bonnie Mellon said Mikey Tata, which that one don't wasn't spelled correctly, either. that one don't count. So all your movie got it first spelled correctly. And then right after that, somebody said she looked like an Olivia. I don't know what that means. Uh, let me see. I'll be there. No, Maria Davis. You know damn well. That was Michael Jackson. You talking about some damn I'll be there was the name of the song in color purple. And then it was Makita. Mikey Dada by Lavera, and then after Lavera, I'm looking for the next person. <laughs> Let me see. Sean again got it after Lavera. She put it in twice. Okay, let me see. Yep, yep. So one, two, and three. So Sean, Sean, baby, let me see. You, I think you got it right. Third in the comments. It took a lot of work to find you, but I found you. S H O N N Douglas, thank you so much for playing. You have the perk for today. My vice president is keeping track of all perks that come through. I appreciate you joining. You got the perk for today. Whoever has the most on Friday wins the prize. And I will send it to your address. Don't worry. Or I'll send it to your whatever. I'll make sure you get your prize. Thank you so much, Passion and Libra. Darn, I don't know. See, that's the reason why I do this shit. Passion and Libra on YouTube didn't have a clue what the song was. At least some of y'all had a guess. Oh, well, Ashley couldn't think of that neither. She said, me and you, us never part. Now, Ashley, you know damn well. Me and you, us never part. That wasn't the name of no damn song. <laughs> the name of the song that silly and that is sung in color purple. It's called Maki Dada. It's M A K I D A D A. It was an African word, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all got to know y'all history better than this now. Shit. Somebody, I don't even have a clue. Damn. You supposed to be black. What if a white person knew it and you didn't? You'd have been told off. What's happening, Bonnie Nelly? Okay, congratulations, Sean. Thank you for putting that trophy in for Bonnie. Uh, let me see. Raheem, what's, what's happening, Raheem? Raheem talking about good night. Oh, Raheem might be Jamaican. You know, the Jamaican dudes say good night as a greeting instead of good night at the end of the, if they leave. What's up, Sean? 504 in the building. Yay. So let me ask y'all this. This is the ultimate ultimatum, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the black trivia question is over. Thank you, Sean. I'm going to ask y'all another question on Instagram when we play it again in an hour. So after I do this one, I'm going to go to Instagram 10 minutes later, and then I'm going to ask them, let me stretch you out, black trivia question again, and then y'all have a chance to win another part. It means little sister in Swahili. Thank you, Lavetta. Me brown, me nose, me nose, me nose, me nose, me nose. Lavera, thank you so much, baby. I told y'all it was Swahili. Y'all don't damn be knowing y'all stuff. Maki Dada means little sister in Swahili. Frederica said I need to go see a man about a horse. Frederica, don't you try to go get you no dick now. You are, it's your birthday. You can relax for a second. Damn. Oh, you act like you can't wait to get some bird on your birthday, huh? Y'all be cutting up on y'all birthdays, I see. I try to get you to come to the let me stretch you out your boogie. I gotta go get me a little bit. It's my birthday. Frederica, calm down. That dick ain't going nowhere. 
You can get it when the show over with. You don't have to go right now. You can let your phone play. Settle in and settle down, Shalana Shanks says. You're damn right. Now let's go. Ashley say, have fun for me, Drika. Ooh. Frederica ready to get that scroll, that scroll, splash of this splash. <laughs> Uh, it ain't no fleeting. It's plenty dingaling out there that'll be right there waiting when you get done. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Damn. Oh, calm down, Lord. Anyways, let me tell y'all the ultimate ultimatum. The ultimate ultimatum is this. <coughs> <coughs> Would you rather have somebody who is a cuckold to be your woman or man? <laughs> Whoever don't know what the cuckold is, that means somebody who likes to watch their person have sex. Would you let the, your person let you watch some have sex with somebody else while they watch? Or would you rather your person to be super jealous and they don't want nobody to watch you at all? They don't want nobody to watch you, see you, go nowhere, do nothing. All the way jealous, mate, or a whole cuckold. Which one you taking? Yeah, this one going to be a tough one for y'all here. Yeah. Because I don't want now one of these. I'm going to be honest with you. Hey, Vice President says she would rather her man be jealous than be a cuckold. Yeah, buddy, this is all right here. Maria Davis said he could be super jealous. When Maria said he could watch me, I'll take the cuckold. Who said both? Next question. Hold on. You want it? Ain't no such thing as both. How you gonna be both? That's a contradiction. If you're a cuckold, that means you like somebody uh, uh, um, banging your lady while you watch. You can't possibly be jealous. If you're jealous, you would be jacking your bird over there in the corner. What's happening, uh, Nicky Swan? Nicky Swan, Nicky Swan said he can watch. <laughs> Frederica said he can watch me. Well, Frederica, that nigga gonna be watching you and Jackie Wacky in the corner, wanna? You never know what he's looking at over there. So he could be looking at the dude booty jacket off. You never know. That nigga be stroking that girl, looking at that man butthole. What's happening, um, Ashley O'Brien? Yeah, you say you like both of them. Who say they like both of them? I ain't never been camera shy, Shawana Shanks said. Andrea L. Bell said, I'm a girl jealous. Yikes. Jealous? I don't know. I don't know. You know what jealous is. Jealous is what the fuck you looking at them niggas for? What, 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 what you over there looking at them niggas? Oh, 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 so that's what you was looking at? You, you, oh, so I was waiting. Are you looking at all, all in his eyes when you all in your food? Look down while you all in that food. Don't look that man in the eye. Lavetta say, oh, voyeurism. Okay, I'll take a, I'll take jealous, mate. Lavetta, you gonna take jealous? Okay. I'm good on jealous. Cuckoo is way too weird. <laughs> oh, boy, this is, a, this is a strange one here, Raheem. Which one they taking? Which one they, do? fellas, which one y'all gonna do? Would y'all like y'all lady to sit in the corner and watch you dick another woman down? Or would you like her to be jealous of you? Don't want nobody with you. Don't want nobody looking at you. You better not look at nobody. Uh, which, which one would you prefer your mate to be? A cuckoo or jealous? I think cuckoo is really like penis, Vice President said. Passionate Libra says no. Ain't no no. Which one you taking? You got to pick one of these. Ain't no out of it. Ain't no I ain't picking neither one. Torrin said jealous for 1,000. Alex. Hey, my partner Torrin, he said he don't play all that. You sitting in the corner watching me bang no other woman. He, won't, he would rather you be jealous and don't let him deal with nobody. Keep them all to yourself. Amy hey, Ross with the song said, the, the jealousy, the regular amount? No, it ain't a regular amount. Is jealous or cuckoo? Which one you pick? 
that cup. That cup, that cup watching you get stuck. That cup, that cup, that cup watch you get buck. <laughs> like I said, book next question. That's how we get down in Tampa. Woo! Florida, wow. Florida said you could be jealous and a cuckold. I don't believe you could. I don't believe you could be both. How could you be jealous and a cuckold? You got to pick one of these. Is they going to be jealous or they going to be a cuckold? A cuckold likes to share or likes to watch you get shared. <laughs> jealous ain't going to share you with nobody. Never. Which one would you prefer your mate to be? Passionate Libra said, I would dig a grave for her and watch her touch someone else. Then watch her touch someone else. You damn right, Passionate Libra. What if it was a dude too Passionate Libra? You would be really upset. <laughs> My girl Passionate Libra, a lesbian, she said she'll dig her grave before she watch her get banged out from the back by a chocolate tall nigga. Ooh, she ain't doing it. And you just got to sit in the corner and rub your cat. <laughs> you be in that corner like, bing, 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 while your girl getting that wacky, 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 wacky. Yeah. Oh, I know you got your trophy. All my trophy winners are still in here, too. Good. They're supposed to be. <laughs> Christian said, jealousy all day. <laughs> As Earl Bryan says, cuz Coco is a kink. Kinks overpower jealousy. Oh, Coco is a kink, so you saying it can be both. But if you had to pick one or the other, which one are you picking, Lavetta? You can't be both. You talking about blurred lines. You got them right, y'all. Brandon Beverly said, Boogie, don't tell us you got a story. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, I ain't no, I can't do no cuckold shit. No, 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 no. A white dude came up to me and asked me to bang his wife out too. I was like, nah, I'll pass. I ain't never had a white woman, but I ain't gonna start right with your wife. You ain't gonna be in the corner jacking your head to my booty. You out your mind. He said, no, no, I ain't, I ain't like that. I'm going to just sit over in the corner. I'm going to just do it. You're going to see me. It's going to be dark where I'm at. It's going to be pitch black. All you doing is just banging out. I can I can barely see y'all. I was like, well, you must go have a spotlight on us. How the hell you going to barely see us? No, hell no. If you see us at all, you can see me. What the hell are you trying to say? You just going to see a chocolate nigga on top of your girl banging out. No, because if you let me fuck your wife, I'm going to beat the brakes off her, too. I'm going to try to put some birth to prove penis on her. Yeah, I'm going to put your wife in there. I'm going to bottom your wife out like a, like a Honda on a speedboat. Booze. <laughs> them nasty niggas did not ask me to bang the old lady out. Oh, say, they asked you before? She, you said you did it. Oh, no, you end up banging up. No, nah, I ain't never did that, Joe. Joe, I don't do all that. Ain't no cuckold for me. Hell no. Now, if that lady want to watch, that's all her business. That's her time. Jealous, I don't know about. Jealous versus cuckold is a totally different thing for men than it is for women. Because if a woman is a cuckold, that's just let, let me have sex with another woman. While she watch, that's okay with me. <laughs> well, I mean, she, she the one watching. <laughs> I ain't got to watch her. <laughs> I ain't about to be no cuckold. Shit, I, I would be jealous before I be a cuckold. I'll tell the whole house up with jealousy and rage. Before I watch somebody just dick my old lady down like that, that's out of the question. <laughs> Look the way, if me and you together, I wish a nigga would try to come in there and dick you down. Hell no, nah, I'm blocking that shit. No, nah, hell no, ain't no cuckold over here, baby. I can't do it. I don't have the stomach for it, Siobhan. I can't watch nobody just hit you, grabbing your titties. He's swinging your titties, pushing your titties up to your chin. I'm like, hey, nigga, that's my woman. They don't push her titties up like that. You got you supposed to push them down off of her neck. You don't let the titties just clump, just come up on, up, up under her neck and choke me down. This is my woman. Get off her, matter of fact. You don't know what the fuck you know. Let me show you how to hit my old lady. You're going to come in there with that bullshit. Hey, that's how I'm gonna end up doing. Hell on beat. 
No, no, ain't it? No, it throws you got about some wide rookie milk. And you get your hot cat ass in that room and lay down. He ain't about to get no damn day lean up in here talking about something. You could just be a cock hole. No, hell no. Hell no. Yeah, I'm stingy with mine. There ain't going to be no other sex going on without me involved. It's called fetish and dominatrix It's good. Well, I don't have that fetish, so this ain't going to apply to me. Y'all pick what y'all want. I'm picking... Uh, for if, if it's my woman, I'm picking cuckold. If it's me, I'm going to be jealous. <laughs> uh, so ladies, it's different for men and women because women ain't going to really want you to just be banging no woman out while she sitting in the corner. That that rarely ever happens. That I don't think they have too many fetishes for women to watch their man just bang other niggas like and do nothing in the corner. Just rub on her own cat. I don't think that's a real thing. They like to join in if they would even watch it. Yeah. My answer is I'm going to have my lady be a cuckold before I have her be jealous. You ain't going to be jealous. You're going to have to watch me sling this dick to get out of it. <laughs> hey, you ain't going to be jealous with me, she. You better calm down. I don't play all that jealous shit. What type of woman I'm dealing with? Ah, who the fuck is that? Where the fuck you go? Where the fuck you go? Where was that? Well, why are you looking at her? Uh, you gonna run me crazy? You better sit in that corner and watch me slam this bird. She, it might be no jealous woman for me, baby. And the women said they would all pick jealous over a cuckold, except for Frederica. Frederica, I can't ask. Talking about she'll take the cuckold. She would rather her man be a cuckold, jacking his bed in the corner, while her and another dude do it on the bed, than for him to be jealous and possessive over her body. You see what I'm saying? So, well, you know, to each his own. That's the ultimate ultimatum. Ain't no right or wrong answer. Moving right along. <laughs> that was an easy one for me. Cock hole, baby. Go put it in that corner. Play with your cat till I get done. I wish my man would want to watch me fuck someone else. Yeah, you are. Right. Yeah, I ain't watching the nigga. They do a damn thing to my old lady. She. Hell no. Nah, especially if it's doing anything bigger than mine. Ooh. We gonna have to have a process of elimination. I'm gonna have to bring a big old fat nigga with a snum hanging over the dingling to fuck my old lady. <laughs> and baby, they gonna stay all new. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now the ultimate ultimatum is over. Let me give y'all the relationship conundrum of the day. This is the part where y'all help somebody, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody going through this problem in their relationship, and they want to know what you would say for them to do, because they know what big we gonna say. They they know what I'm gonna say. They know I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. But they want to see what the general consensus of the people is. Yeah, yeah. Conundrum of the day is this. My bigot inboxed me and says, should she expose the cheats upon her? Should she publicly expose the woman who cheated and her man and she knew that was, a, that was a, her man? She cheated with him anyway. She want to know if she's supposed to, if it's okay to expose them on social media. Because they're going to cheat like that. I should expose the cheater. That's what she said. But she wants to know what y'all to do. Is it okay to expose a cheater for cheating on, with your mate on social media? Facebook user from Tampa says yes. Andrea L. Bell says no. Amy Ross with us all says no. Joe Abuku said name and shame. Shawana Shank said, oh, you bored, bored, baby. Uh, Frederica said, oh, that's risky. Joe said, call her out and save another sister. Call her out. Put her on blast, Joe said. Joe, handle your business, Joe. Joe, you said what you said, Joe. You said what you said. Hold up. You said what you said, Joe. Don't let him sway you. Yeah, what's up, Bonnie Mellon said, I wouldn't. Siobhan says, exposure, what do you do? 
Is it okay to expose the mistress on social media? She cheated with your man. Is it all right for you to put on blast and say, hey, this bitch out here fucking people, man. Dick will suck my husband, bird, everything, you know what I'm saying? What what y'all gonna do? Post it on Twitter, what's happening? Facebook users say, hell yes, if I care. Woo! Oh, that's Tanya Master. Tanya, your name don't pop up on here. It pop up on here, though. I'm looking at you here. Tanya Master, I'm that, that, that. Yeah, I don't see no stars on here either, boy. What's going on with y'all stars? Facebook done blocked me from getting some stars from y'all. Ain't nobody put a single star in this bitch, neither. That's cold bloody. Well, y'all can hit me with some cash app change if you got it. Dollar sign, look at me, LLC. Don't act like you don't see it. Don't act like you don't know what I need. Shit, I need some help, too, shit. Hey, kiddos, if, if we all stick together and put something in that cash app, <laughs> then Booker B won't be salaryless. <laughs> hey, man, that's how them pastors be asking y'all for the money. Y'all didn't see the pastor on TV. The, the pastor in the news fell completely out in the middle of the aisle. And many people come throwing money on top of her until she got enough money. She wasn't getting up and preaching a damn thing. She was slain in the spirit until some money dropped on her chest. And they put the... And they put the Linda Williams says she don't see the stars in the album. They go, they on Facebook always playing games with your money, boy. Boy, thank you, Linda Williams. But I know y'all intentions is good, so come to the Let Me Stress You Out show and let me see you. Let me see your faces in the places, every day, sis, in the places. Ashley O'Brien said, exposing the girl. Wait a minute. Ashley O'Brien said, exposing the girl for what? She wasn't in a relationship. Hoes don't be hoes. Wait a minute. How is she a hoe? She ain't no hoe. She messing with your man, your, your old man. Your old man, no. She just had sex with one person. He the one fucking two. Who's your hoe? Yeah, yeah, hit that cash out, hit that cash out, hit that cash out, yeah, hit that cash out, hit that cash out, yeah, hit that cash out. Do that T slim, T slim, do that T, do that T, do that T slim. Y'all remember that T slim? <laughs> Hey, my nigga T Slim, we had a song, it was a song that said, do that T Slim. Oh, this is how you do it. You smell the hand first, and then you shake the peace sign at them. <laughs> People from New Orleans won't know exactly what I'm talking about, but let me tell y'all, for so those of y'all who ain't from New Orleans, T Slim came up with that dance, he was playing with a coochie. And you know, back in the day when you used to play with a coochie, you had to smell it. Then after you smell it, you tell them niggas, I told you, boy. <laughs> Dude, that's eat slim. Oh, that's eat slim. <laughs> Bigger said if she's fucking a man in a relationship, promise she's not fucking one person. It don't matter if she is or it ain't. She ain't got no obligations to nobody. Hoes is single. If the hoes is single, she ain't owing. And she ain't really owing unless she getting paid. Now, if she just like your man, and she having sex with your man, she ain't no hoe. <laughs> your man, no. If you think about it. <laughs> Come on, Siobhan, you know I'm telling the truth. Put a hundred in the chat when I'm speaking all facts. Y'all know how I like it. Hey, this is the Let Me Stress You Out Show, ladies and gentlemen. The live is live on live. I'm, you can argue with me or you can argue with your mom. I don't care which one you do. Sis just hurt. Posting not gonna make nothing better. Keep it to yourself and move on, Ashley O'Brien says. See, Ashley O'Brien is young, but she knows some things. What's that in my pocket? Mike, is it okay to expose the dude who cheated with your old lady? If a dude cheated and, and hit your old lady, is it okay to expose him on social media? You caught your old lady or your woman or your wife or whatever down there with a nigga and do you expose him and her or do you on social media or him or her, either one of them, do you expose anybody on social media? 
I wish I could drive until I reach the ends of the earth and do it all over again. Come on, tie your ass up. You can, you can do it, because why not? It ain't no end of the earth. You just gonna drive around in the circle, baby. Mike Clark is saying, no, nah, only face to face. Or you just expose them face to face, but not on social media. Expose his behind, he probably lied to get the cash. That could be true too, Frederick. I'm glad you're still here. You could be over there getting that dick for your birthday, but you're not. You right here still with me like you're supposed to be. Good job. Now, Sharana Shank said, if he's still your man, not if he's still your man. So you don't expose him nor her if you're going to stay with the man who cheated on you. Oh, okay, Sharana. I see what you're saying. Did y'all share that live for me? Did anybody share that live? Let me share it one time. Thank you, Tanya, because I saw the live posted on your page the other day, too. Thank you so much, baby. Send it to somebody inbox, because they ain't doing shit else. They could be here. What the hell are they too busy doing? We ain't here kicking it. They could kick it, too. Shit, they need this. It's people out here who need the Let Me Stretch You Out show to get their life together. Let me share it with it right fast. Let me see. Frederica said I can multitask. Frederica, you better not be over there getting hit from the back while my goddamn show on. Oh, get that bigger lean out, you girl. What the hell? We trying to have a conversation. You, you ain't every time to get hit from no back for your birthday. No, I can't get buddy young as these days, bro. Can't cool them coaches off for a second so we can have a conversation on the internet. Especially not on their birthday. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Tanya, baby. I appreciate you though for um sharing that live like you always do. Shout out live everybody in here. Make sure you inbox it to somebody so they'll know. If they don't see it, then it don't matter. But if they see it and they come, good. You we, we saved the soul. What's happening, Andrea L. Bell? I've been on both sides of cheating and neither felt good. And I wouldn't put it on social media either way. Okay, Andrea L. Bell, you're coming in here on your Maya Angelou shit. And still I rise, face ass. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me find out y'all trying to do the right thing. As they say, don't, don't share nothing with the internet. These people don't care. They just going to be laughing at you. Yeah. So let me tell you what would Boogie B do in this situation. Is it okay to expose the mistress on social media for cheating with your mate? No, it's not. It's never okay to expose nobody who, especially not the person who your person cheated with. They ain't got shit to do with you. Them people don't know you. That, that girl was just over there trying to get her some dick. You happen to be in the picture, and you know, and now boom, you want to try to blow the girl's spot up. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Tyler say, uh, oh, Tyler Vassar say, my pick not popping up. I don't know why. I got to go fix it. I know, baby. I don't know why it's like that. Oh, that's Tiffany Nippy. Damn, Tiffany Nippy and Tanya's page is like that. And Camille page is like that, too. Damn. Boogie B would never do, Boogie B would never do some BS like that. Hell no. I'm not exposing nobody on no social media. Social media is supposed to be a platform, too, for y'all to spread love, energy, light, positivity, negativity, I mean, you're supposed to spread, you got to spread it all. However, but your overall purpose of social media should be either to spread love and lighter energy, good energy or something, or injustice or history, something to learn something from people and stuff like that, or your purpose of social media is to just be on there to learn. You see what I'm saying? So, ain't no need of you trying to embarrass nobody on no social media because that girl fucked your man. So what? She didn't rape your man. Your man, didn't, she didn't take the dick from him. What you going to expose her for? <clears throat> she let your man eat the coochie, ate her butt, whatever your nasty ass old man did to the girl. That's not her fault. Even if he lied or didn't lie. Even if he said, look, I got an old lady I won't fuck. If she's single 
man, she took that nigga lean when they went into what is the problem? You see what I'm saying? She's single. She's able to take whatever dick what comes along to her. It ain't a little body job to shame that girl. Nobody needs to be shamed or held accountable. It should be the person in violation, which is your husband. And I still don't advise you take your husband and wife matters to social media. So if your husband did cheat, don't expose him for cheating. Just let him cheat it on you and let, let him go about his business. If somebody comes to you and asks you, hey, what happened in your last relationship? Tell them, hey, my man cheated. And tell what happened. Or tell the story if you over it. If you ain't over it, just keep it to yourself. But there ain't no need for people who don't know you and don't really want to know you for you to come and tell them that your person cheated on you. Because if you come tell me they cheated on you, I'm going to be like, well, well, shit, what, what the hell? What happened? I'm going to listen to the whole story, but I ain't got no solutions. So I'm just be like, damn, well, shit, that's just what happened to you. Sorry. Damn, that nigga shouldn't have did that to you. Hey, he found some better cat. Hey, hey, hey it's, 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 always, it's always a level of cat better than yours. Hey, every cat ain't going to be the same. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that coochie was better than your shit at the time. And you, who knew? I don't know what it could have been. You know what I'm saying? Now I'll be like going over my page and look at my life. Now, if it's your old lady or your old man who cheated on you and you just venting, talking about your situation, cool. But don't try to put no picture, name, all that shit. This nigga right here, Michael Crockett, cheated on me February 23rd, 1999. Cash money had just took over. So fucking what? Who cares that, that they said they cheated on you, but you? Who give a damn? Everybody's going to get cheated on. We all, we all going to be undefeated? I done got cheated on. And if I got cheated on, anybody could get cheated on. <laughs> if, Halle, if me and Ali Barry got cheated on, any of you regular niggas can get cheated on. <laughs> if me, Beyonce, and Ali Barry got cheated on, any of you regular Negroes can get cheated on. And when you do, take your get cheated on like a man or a woman. Take Just take it to the face. Look, everybody got to go through it. If you ain't been through it yet, you ain't live long enough. It's just, you, it's coming. Don't worry. Yeah, find Siobhan said, get carry on him and find your baby daddy and cheat back. That's all you, if you gonna get petty, it's a bunch of ways you can get petty, but don't come to me complaining and crying. Somebody cheated on you, so what? Everybody got cheated on. Oh, man, you cheated. You cheated. <laughs> Y'all be about to pass out, about to die. You ain't even seeing put the actual dick in the girl. You still about to die. Come on, now, cheating ain't that bad. Y'all got to stop minimizing, minimizing that hurt to the smallest that you can make it. <laughs> hey, I'm just keeping it all the way funky with y'all. Share and share alike. That is just a part of what happens. It's 2022. Y'all still living with these old school principles and values. Somebody cheat on you, you that crushed. You got to expose it to the whole world like we give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tom and Tom, they talk about pulling Jay the Pinky. Okay. Uh, Vice President says, don't even try to get revenge or have sex with someone else either. It's not worth the trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to do that either. You never want to have revenge sex. We'll talk about revenge sex another time. Smoke, see, little baby, thank you for coming to the administration. I'll show you when you're off another avatar. It is what it is. If somebody cheat on you, don't expose nobody. Don't expose the person who cheated with your person. And don't expose your person. Because we don't, we don't care. I mean, everybody done cheated on somebody, probably. Or everybody done uh, uh, got cheated on. Either you're on one foot or the other. Or both feet sometimes. Either way, this is a messy situation and we need to start minimizing the, the hurt to the smallest that you could so you can get over it and get on to moving on with your life to a better person that God got for you. You feel what I'm saying? Now, 
the person will expose themselves to whomever they need to be exposed to. Thank you, Vice President. Yes, it counts. Um, Reveals that you just caught up. Yeah, boom. Okay, Sandra Bumpin' said, Hell, y'all got going over there. Well, all right. Hell, y'all got going on over there. <laughs> what up, Smoke? Smoke Celo. What's up, Lady Bumpin'? Thank y'all so much for coming, too, man. Dang it. Right, I mean, pipe. Oh, for it was an eye for an eye. You damn right. These comments, bro. I know these comments be crazy every day. Time your guys said that's why I be reading them out loud, and I've been trying to read them as fast as y'all put them in. And I want y'all to put them in faster, so I can have to read faster. You're making me sharp. You're making me like I I read with these jokes. Flip like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Never put my business on social media. Thank you so much. Yeah, social media is the world and it is forever. Cheating only lasts for a while. The hurt of a cheat is only going to last for a short amount of time. It, no matter how bad the cheat is, no matter how uh, 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 um, much in love you is with the person, when the person cheat on you, it ain't going to last forever. It's only going to last for the amount of time that you make the hurt last. If you want that hurt, the last for 10 years, it could, but but it's going to fade away over time. You're going to be just holding on to it for the sake of be holding on to it. So what you want to do, if you if somebody cheat on you, you either break up with them and start the healing process, take them back and start the healing process, but don't, in, in no circumstances, expose the person who cheated with your mate. They didn't do nothing wrong to you. And I would advise against exposing their mate for cheating because don't nobody give a fuck but you. <laughs> oh my God. Thank y'all so much for coming. Happy birthday to Frederica Murdis Clemens. <laughs> oh, Murdis. Happy birthday, baby. Uh, Bonnie Miller, thank you for coming, baby. Central Governor, thank you for coming, brother. Tanya Vassa, thank you for coming. Tiffy Lippy, thank you for coming. Maria Davis, thank you for coming. Ashley O'Brien, thank you for coming. Shawana Shanks, thank you for coming. I say y'all name every day. I probably say y'all name more than your old man say y'all name. <laughs> Some of y'all old men ain't never say your name. I done said your name about 15 times in one week. Thank you for coming, babies. I appreciate y'all. I need y'all every day. I'm here five days a week, and I'm about to go over to Instagram and start this whole show over. My double dips come on, dip through on the second one. You know what I'm saying? Boogie Bros. Y'all already know. Let's go over to IG and make this whole thing come together like we're supposed to. Andrea L. Bell, thank you for coming, baby. I appreciate your input. You see what I'm saying? Thank you, Brandon Beverly, brother. Yeah. Thank all my big ass and Boogie Bros for coming. I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow or not. Come on and go with me. Come on and over to IG. I said it ain't far from here. <laughs> Come on and go with me. That's making it. Back us up. We out of here.